everyone welcome back again to my channel it's your girl Ruthie to my returning subscribers you guys are super amazing and please if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the like button on your notification bell for more notifications yeah I'll be teaching you how to make Nigerian meat pie the British calls it miss pie I'm going to be teaching you how to make a fillet which is soft and moist inside now for this meat pie you're going to be needing a you're going to be needing flour you're going to be needing milk and you will be needing butter on margarine and you're going to need your baking powder you're also going to need salt and you're going to need eggs you're also going to be needing water for this process now let's get into action lovelies now for a start you're going to add your baking powder give it a good mist to make sure it is properly mixed and now it's time to add your salt to it please do not forget to go back and check the ingredients and description and you're going to add your butter now guys this is going to get a little bit messy but we have to make sure that it's properly mixed so i prefer using my hands to mix it properly but make sure you're using a clean hands because we do not want to give anyone bacteria so you need to make sure your hands are washed now you mix it properly this is how it looks like after being mixed properly so it's time to add the milk to it and please if you have powdered milk what you need to do is to add a little bit of water into your powder milk to make it um to get a liquid milk so don't be worried or do not get um worked out if you do not have like liquid milk you can convert your powder milk to liquid milk by adding a little bit of water to it and mix it properly and then you're good to go so if you notice during this process i added my milk gradually this is because i do not want the pie to be sticky yes it's going to be sticky but not too sticky so you need to be conscious when adding your liquid milk to it now you carry on with the mixing process and it's time for you to i added a little bit of water okay i just wanted to add it's not necessary for you to add water to it after using your liquid milk but just because i chose to add water to it so it's time for us to add our egg to it yeah i made use of two eggs so after breaking your eggs you need to whisk it guys you can actually create a hole in the middle of your of your flour or, and then put your egg in in the middle and then you can carry on with your missing however i didn't stick to that but if you want to that's fine it's not necessary but if you have to that's okay and then the next thing you need to do is to mix your dough properly so after mixing it properly you want to get your cliffing now you want to wrap your bowl and then put this in the fridge for at least one hour and above now it's time to make the fillet you're going to need your mince meat for this and you're going to need your chopped onions you're also going to need your stock cube and you'll be needing your time for this and your carrots and you're also going to need your potato i made use of one big potato for this let's get into action so i started by chopping my potato 
So I went through this process because I wanted to be able to get a better um, cubes of the potato. I tried as much as I can to chop it into bits, not too tiny, not too big, but to make sure it's the cubes are okay. And then it's time to chop our carrots. When you're chopping your carrots, make sure that your carrots and your potato, you try as much as you can to get the same sizes. So after doing this, this is the outcome of the chopped potato and chopped carrot. Now it's time to get into action. We're frying. I started by frying my onions. And after that, I added my minced meat to it. So guys, if you can see how reddish the color of the minced meat is. And you have to try as much as you can to fry it until it changes color from this reddish color to a little bit brown color or brown color. So I carried on with the stirring process of this. I covered it and allowed it to steam a little bit to make sure my minced meat is properly cooked. Now if you can notice the color has changed. However, I carried on with stirring process. Now it's time to add your thyme to it. Give it another quick stir. And then you add your stock cube to it. I made use of one big stock cube. You can make sure you add yours to taste. And then I add a little bit of salt to taste as well. As you can see from the video, I had to taste it just to make sure we are on track. You do not want your fillet to be too salty, so you need to give it a taste. You need to make sure you taste it. And then I covered it to steam for a bit more time. As you can see, our fillet is looking really good. And it's time to add the potato. I started by adding my potato first. However, some people do prefer to boil their potato, but I do not want to boil mine because I don't want it too cooked. So I added the potato, covered it to steam for a little bit first, gave it a good stir, and then added my carrot. If you notice, I added my carrot late because the carrot does not need to be cooked for too long. You still want your potato and carrots a little bit crunchy in your pie. And so you do not want all of these to be too cooked or too soft. So we want it. So it's time to make your fillet thickener so what i did here was to add my flour in a my flour in a bowl add added a little bit of water mixed it properly this is going to help to thicken this fillet so it's going to hold it together you can see how it looks like after adding The next step is to get a clean bowl, break your eggs into this bowl and then give it a wix. Why we're doing this is because you're going to need this egg to grease your pie. So after whisking it as seen in this video, make sure you've got your brush and you've got your rolling pin, you've got your board, you've got your knife, everything set and ready. Now, after you're done whisking your egg, set it aside and then it's time to grease our pan, our baking pan. So I prefer using a, um, a kitchen foil for this process and then I use a little bit of margarine or butter to grease this foil after doing this i set it aside you're going to need it and then it's time to chop my dough into chunks the reason for chopping it into chunks is that it makes it easy for you especially for those of you who want to know the numbers of pie you're making here i'm making about 20 pies and yeah 
so i took one of those chunks and roll it properly so here i'm going to be using a bowl after rolling make sure you roll it properly you can flip it up down to make sure that it's properly rolled i was meant to have added um flour on the board in order for it not to be sticky all right guys i made use of a bowl but you can make use of a saucer if you've got one add your fillets to it so it's time to fold it i use my hands to pinch it around to make sure that it's properly closed and then i used my fork to indent it The reason for making use of or the reason for indenting it is to make sure your fillet is you it's to make sure your pie is properly closed okay guys this was what i was talking about so in order for the board not to be too sticky or in order for your pie not to be sticky on the board you need to add your flour on the board and then start rolling So in the process of rolling, do not forget to flip it up, down, flip it around and make sure it is rolled properly. However, it's not shown in this video, but that's what I did. I'm not sure why I didn't show it. And then you use your bowl again to cut it the size you want. Like I said, you can make use of your saucer. I just didn't want to make use of saucer because I did prefer a bowl for it. You do not have to add as much fillet as I'm adding. Just because I want mine to be really filled up. A tablespoon, a full tablespoon of fillet is enough for it. And then I use my finger again to pinch around the edges. Make sure it is properly closed. You do not want your fillet running out or you... And then I used my fork again to indent it. Alright my lovelies. This is the outcome of what we have done. This is how much we've done. How many meat pies we were able to make. And then I'm going to use the egg which I whisked and my brush to grease the pie. To give it a better look at the end of this process so carry on with greasing of it make sure you grease it properly you apply your egg properly around your pies you can see how it looks it's really looking lovely and nice so i carried on with this process and then it's time to put it in your oven and leave I what I did was that I had to preheat my oven so here is the outcome of the meat pie wow it really looks great it looks yummy it looks really really great and yum 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 <laughs> all right my lovelies we've come to the end of this beautiful teaching tutorial I hope you were able to grab one or two things from here. I Please, if you've got a different idea, put it down on the comment section. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Remain blessed. You guys are super amazing.